fresh produce, even on a Sunday. That's what's being proposed at Adelaide's iconic central markets. I've been waiting for years. Um, I work in the city, but sometimes it's such a rush to get here, whereas on a Sunday, it's chicken, be part of your day, have lunch, come and do some shopping. I can't wait. 21 of the market's 76 stalls will open from 8am to 3pm, hoping to cash in on a new shopping demographic. So we're not looking at shifting a customer from a Tuesday to a Sunday. We really think that there's a customer out there that hasn't got the opportunity to come to the market during our current core trade hours. Shopping trends have really changed. So people are time poor, uh, a lot of families shop on Sunday and data proves that. Because the market stalls are considered small traders, they're exempt from shop trading regulations. But big supermarket Woolworths has also been given a special exemption for its Rundle Mall store after it applied to the state government to stay open longer during Mad March. We know that this will be a benefit uh, to shoppers. We know that it will be a benefit to employees who will get more hours to work. The changes add fuel to the government's plan to reignite its deregulation campaign, despite Parliament blocking the move more than a year ago. But small traders are concerned they'll be hit if more big retailers get exemptions. Obviously we'd, we'd prefer that that wasn't deregulated, so Coles and Woolies can't open earlier, and that way we've got a, a, a broader base of customers to choose from to come in here and do their shopping here. While many businesses say it's high time the central markets started trading on a Sunday, the majority still haven't signed up to the trial. Many aren't sure if they want to give up time with their families and whether it's worth the extra effort. The market is already going quiet at the moment. And the, as compared to the city, the city is dead on a Sunday. People want to go outside with their family, you know. The central market trial will begin at the end of March. Sarah Tomevska, ABC News, Adelaide.